Hey everyone, this is Candace Ipos from JSA coming at you live from DCD London, where we're here for another live interview uh, covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the digital infrastructure community. So I am here with Connor McGinn, CEO of Zero One Data Centers. Thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Delighted to be here. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. And so we're going to talk um, a, a little bit about a few different topics that are really hot topics at DCD London this week. Um, so first of all, since you haven't been on JSA TV before, could you um, just get an intro to our audience a little bit, Zero One Data Centers. Yeah, uh, thanks for having us and uh, delighted to be here. Yeah, Zero, Zero One um, is a data center specialist, mechanical electrical uh, design consultancy. We're based in Dublin. Mm -hmm. uh, we're coming up on having 20 staff. Uh, we're about four years old now. We started off um, more uh, focused on large healthcare projects, pharmaceutical projects, but now our primary focus in the last, uh, last several months has just been data center design. So. Amazing. Um, yeah, we're 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 um, we're looking to grow the team to another ten people in the next year. Uh, so, uh, amazing! That's great. There's a lot of opportunity, right? And uh, and you know, for anybody watching who might be interested in joining, that's a good good shout out, a uh, good plug for uh, growing yeah, the team. Yeah, anybody <laughs> anybody looking to join our team, get in touch. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And um, so, you're a liquid cooling specialist, which is of course a topic that we're hearing a lot about at CCD London and every other digital infrastructure conference right now, right? Um, so what are the key considerations and challenges that your team addresses when you're designing these liquid cooling solutions? Well, the big big thing with liquid cooling for us is is the the challenges that the industry faces as mm -hmm. a whole. Uh, and as MEP consultants, the mechanical part is a big, big part of what we do is cooling, right? Mm -hmm. So we, um, as, a, as a young enough company, we want to get out and ahead of the, the trends in the industry. So we spend a lot of money and a lot of time on R&D research and development yeah. of liquid, liquid cooling solutions. So uh, from from immersion cooling to single phase liquid cooling to two phase mm -hmm. liquid cooling. So that, that's a lot, of, a lot of what we do. Yeah. The two phase we find is not really, um, you know, it's very, it's very early. Um, a lot of the specialists are struggling to, to bring on, you know, to keep up with the high AI workloads of the of the chips. Um, so we're trying to work with those uh, specialists uh, to try and get a good understanding about um, and how we can bring their their expertise to the clients and, and get out ahead of the, the designs. So. Excellent, excellent. Okay, great. And then, of course, one of the other hot topics beyond liquid cooling is AI that everybody's talking about. Yeah. So can you um, speak a little bit to how you're dealing with the rise of AI and supporting your clients? Yeah, so for us uh, as a small company, we find uh, AI as a massive opportunity. So mm -hmm. uh, before large consultancies used to have to hire staff for everything, right? But we're, we're actually looking to grow with AI. We're using AI in-house to be more efficient, to be a leaner company um, so that we don't have to take on 250 people. We're, we believe that we can, we can cut our workforce um, you know, by 30% by using AI technology, right? Which is which is a great opportunity for us. So we look at it as a big opportunity. So that's the yeah. one side of it. On the other side, we've seen a big reset mm -hmm. in uh, in how does data centers are designed, um, and particularly around liquid cooling. So all the large um, hyperscalers and, and colo providers are pausing at the moment to 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 reevaluate how to design these systems so mm -hmm. we're looking at that as an opportunity so as this, as mentioned we spend a lot of time in research and development and we're now uh, we're now trying to bring that to our clients to get a better traction uh, and more market share basically. right so Right, so like a lot of the companies on the exhibit floor that we're kind of overlooking right now, it's the the two two phase approach, if you will, to put it in the quick cooling terms, yeah. right? Where it's like, how do you use AI internally, and then also how are you supporting clients with it? Um, and so you're looking at both holistically. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like clients, like like large uh, large data center providers like uh, um, Microsoft have all put their data centers on hold because they want to make sure that they're getting the best technology into the into the uh, data centers that they're building at the moment, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we're seeing a, a little bit of a cooling down of the market. Mm -hmm. uh, so we look at that as a great opportunity to get in there, get a bit of a foothold in the industry, and then we're going to we're going to grow out when the when when things start start up again. So amazing. Yeah. Okay, great. And so we have one, just one last question for you, which is about um, the role that a consultancy like Zero One Data Centers has in a project's full life cycle. How would you speak to that? Yeah. Well, we start off. Uh, we 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 have two 
ways we work. So one, we work uh, with stage one, two, and three designs. Um, so that's we 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 partner with the large colo providers uh, or the hyperscalers, and we do the stage one to three designs. Or we also do uh, we also partner with GCs to do the stage four designs. So uh, we uh, zero one can do both. Um, our focus at the moment is probably more around the GCs mm -hmm. to go in. Uh, and deliver the projects and my experience and our company's experience we have great experience working on sites and we have great background in mission critical designs and we're also very focused on uh, cost management um, so for the main one of the main challenges in the DC space is speed mm -hmm. uh, cost um, and they're the, they're the two keys that we bring to the data center incredible uh, well, that's a good way to that's a good way to wrap it up. Is there any anything else that you want to let our audience know about Zero One? Yeah, no, just that we're we're here. Uh, we're we're based in Dublin. We operate everywhere throughout yeah. throughout Europe. Uh, that's our that that's our our main market. Uh, we're hoping to go further fields, you know, in in years to come. But at the moment, we're just in Europe. So, Perfect. anybody wants to reach out, uh, get in touch with us. We're we're here. Uh, please contact me or mm -hmm. any of the team. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Connor, for joining us on JSA no TV. And thank you to our viewers and our podcast listeners back at home for hanging out with us uh, for another live streamed interview here from DCD London. Happy networking, everyone. We'll see you later. Thanks.